It is so easy. You literally just need to get on the frequency of your desires and it will manifest. A lot of the things that I manifested, I actually didn't believe that they could be possible for me. Your subconscious mind doesn't have eyes to see. It doesn't have ears to hear. Like it just knows what you tell it. Hello, my loves. Welcome back to my channel. So today is a highly controversial topic and that is that you do not need to believe in order to have your manifestation. So I'm going to share with you how this exactly works and how a lot of the things that I manifested, I actually didn't believe that they could be possible for me. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Also, if you're new here, welcome to the channel. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell right next to it so you get notified whenever I post a new video. Give this video a thumbs up. It helps me a lot. It helps more people find this channel and help them improve their lives. Also comment down below where you are from. I truly love to hear where you guys are from. So one thing I wanted to touch on is this teaching that you have to believe it like 200% in order to manifest it, which is true and not true. You have to have faith that it is going to happen. You have to have faith that your manifestation, what you want is out there. Like the universe is on your nuts to make things happen for you. You have to know that you are supported. But you don't have to like 100% believe that it's going to happen because a lot of the times when you do have end up having that quantum leap, it's going to be actually bigger than what you thought it was going to be. It's going to be bigger. It's going to be better. It's going to be like, how the hell did this happen, right? We all always ask ourselves how it's ever going to happen until we ask ourselves how it happened. Like, how did we actually do this? Because if you look back at your manifestations, probably a lot of your manifestations didn't really happen in the way that you thought they would happen. And they probably came about in the most... Um, what's the word again? I'm looking for a word. In the most serendipitous way. That was the word that I was looking for. And in truth, like a lot of the manifestations that I have had happen, like if you would have told me just a week before it has happened, I would have never believed you that this could happen. Like I truly didn't. Like I manifested the most insane things. Let's say, for example, like my channel at one point grew like in a matter of only four weeks, like I grew like 100,000 subscribers, which now is it happens a lot like on TikTok and, and platforms like that. But back in the day, this was like seven years ago. This was unheard of. Right. And so I never thought that 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 could happen right i had my goal in mind but then i actually doubled what like i wanted to reach a hundred thousand subscribers once i reached that hundred thousand subscribers i grew to 200k in like 28 days later so that is just an example of how you don't have to believe that things need to happen for you you really don't the law of assumption is actually so simple that people will forget about it. It is so easy. You literally just need to get on the frequency of your desires and it will manifest. From a quantum physics point of view, your intention is what puts the electrical impulse, right? We're all electromagnetic beings. What does that mean? An electric charge is a positive charge that goes out into the universe. That's your intention, your thought. Like, I want a bigger house. I want to manifest my dream house. That's the intention. But an intention needs to be combined with the magnetic frequency. So what's the magnetic frequency? How do we become magnetic? We become magnetic by tapping into the feeling of our wish already being fulfilled. Meaning that when we are in these feelings of, oh my God, it has already happened, it happened. You're literally teaching your body, your body like your subconscious mind doesn't have eyes to see. It doesn't have ears to hear. Like it just knows what you tell it. So if you tell it, if you make believe that you already have it, just like kids, then your subconscious mind, your body will be like, oh yeah, this has already happened. And since your subconscious rules 95% of your reality, 
it will pull it into your reality without you having to do any effort. That's another misconception that we have to take so much action. Uh, no, you do not need to do anything to have your manifestation come into your life. I once manifested a guy, like exactly the exact guy that I wanted um, without even really trying to. I just had a specific type of person in mind and that person came into my life and was exactly like a copy of that person that I wanted to come into my life without wanting to get into too much detail. But this is how specific things can be. And um, I did not take any action. This person literally just like fell into my lap, okay? So that's an example. You don't have to believe it. Like get that out of your mind. You really don't have to believe in order for things to happen for you. Um, give this video a thumbs up if it helped you. Let me know down below what you're manifesting next. Let's do a scripting game. Script three things down below as if they have already happened for you and come back to this video once it did happen. I love you guys and I'll talk to you soon.